Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into the AWS console using an IIM user. When you first create an account with Amazon Web Services, you have a single master account. This account is associated with an email address and credit card number for billing purposes. Most importantly, it has complete access to your AWS cloud. That is to say, full access to every service available in the AWS cloud. Clearly, that is a powerful user account. In fact, you should make very little use of it. If you consider that a typical organization that uses Amazon Web Services might employ tens or hundreds of developers, testers, database administrators, and other admins, they can't all use a single account. The solution is to use the Identity and Access Management, or IIM, service to create users and groups to better manage your cloud. In this video, I want to show you how to create a user and then access the AWS console using that user account. So the first thing I need to do is log into the console with my root or master account. This involves me entering the email address associated with the account and a password. Furthermore, I've enabled my master account for multi-factor authentication, or MFA. This isn't required, but it's considered best practice. You can either get an app for your smartphone, or alternatively, you can purchase a Gemalto token from Amazon and associate it with your account. In this case, I'm using a token, and it gives me a unique once-only code to enter into the second screen. Now that I'm logged in, I can switch to the IAM console in order to create a user account. If I click on the Users link, I can create a new user. Let me create a new user named George. Note I'm being offered the option to generate an access key for the user. I'm not going to select that, and I'll explain why in a minute. You need to decide when you create a user what type of credential you want to use to prove identity. For example, you might be creating a user account to be used by a client application. In that case, you might choose an access key. As this user is intended for a person to connect to the AWS console, I'm going to define a password. Note that you can also specify MFA for IM user accounts too. This is also considered a best practice. Now that I've created a user account and specified a password, it's time to show you how to log in. IM users can't use the same URL to connect to the AWS console. That's intended for master accounts. Instead, the URL should reflect the master account to which the IM user is associated. You can locate the desired URL in the IAM console in the lower left-hand corner. As you can see, it includes the account number associated with your master account. This URL can be issued to your users in the form of a desktop shortcut, for example. Watch what happens when I navigate to this URL in a new window. As you can see, the login window is different. This time, the account number is displayed and there are additional fields for the username and password. Let me log in as George. You can now see that I'm authenticated in the AWS console. But what about privileges? Let me try and launch an EC2 instance. As you can see, I'm not authorized to perform this operation. In fact, if you look back at this screen, there are many things that I'm not authorized to do. By default, IAM users have no privileges. They must be assigned to them or the groups that they're members of. That'll be the subject of a later video. There you have it. In this video, I've shown you how easy it is to log into the AWS console with an IAM user. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment and suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.